Hello. This is a video that's going to help you to understand the inside out drafting process and how to move from uh, having a thesis statement to kind of building the framework of your essay uh, using a lot of the writing that you've already done. And so before we get started, um, it's important to recognize, so the work we did last week, right, while we were reading and when we finally developed a thesis statement based on what we read, that was all the pre-writing stage of our uh, process. And a good way to know that you're done with pre-writing is when you hit your thesis statement. When you're finally able to say, this is what I think and this is why I think it, that's a good indication um, that you're ready to begin drafting. And so the inside out drafting process is a way to take the writing that you've already done and the ideas that you've already generated while you were reading and use them to build your essay so that you're not it doesn't feel like you're starting from scratch because sometimes those two sides those two parts of the process can feel very discreet right so you do all this reading and then all right i'm done with reading and now you're sitting there looking at a blank page and you're like all right what am i going to write about and it's tough to it's tough to connect those dots sometimes the inside out drafting process gives you a way to um, to work through that difficult time. All right, so for this uh, essay, you're being asked to essentially define happiness, right? So based on what you've heard, based on what you've read, what is happiness? What, what are the essential elements? And then as a sub, so that's very expository. You're exposing what this idea of happiness is. And then, um, I think it's also, you know, I gave you an option in this essay to explore one of the barriers to happiness, right, that people experience in the modern world. So it's not just an expository, um, it's an expository and you're exploring, um, you're exploring a problem, which, which sets us up nicely for a persuasive essay, which we're doing next. Um, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. So uh, I'm going to share my screen here. And I want to think about the inside out uh, drafting process. And so we talked about what a thesis statement is, right? That a thesis statement is a summary of a main point or claim of your paper. Mm -hmm. And so in this case, you know, when we're thinking about a thesis statement, your thesis statement, and I have a sample one that I'm going to go over in your next. Uh, your next essay. But um, excuse me, my next segment. Um, you can't move forward. You can't you can't go to the next step without a thesis statement. Right. And we know from our class last week that a thesis statement needs to be clear and specific. It needs to be arguable. It needs to be something that you can demonstrate. Right. It is not just a statement of fact that it needs to have somebody that could say, well, I'm not sure if that's the case. Even though this is an expository essay, you're taking a specific stance, you're taking a specific um, pathway to understanding happiness. And that acknowledges that there might be other perspectives as well. That your thesis should be relevant to the topic, right? So if we're talking about happiness, so you're talking about how to achieve happiness, you're giving these concrete steps. And it gives you a roadmap for the paper. And that's really how inside out drafting works. And we'll talk about that. Um, you know, a weak thesis statement is many people drive cars. And if we're going to use that for this for our specific uh, purposes, a weak thesis statement might be like happiness is important, right? Clearly, happiness is important. Nobody's going to argue that happiness is important, right? A stronger thesis is the increasing reliance on cars in urban areas contributes significantly to air pollution and the decline of the public transportation system. All right, now we're saying something specific at cars and you're still, you might be describing a situation, but you're describing a specific kind of situation from a specific lens. Thesis statements, as you, as you may have seen in the reading, thesis statements are all about lenses. It's all about helping people to understand your perspective. And if you think back to the work we did with the tree, right, when we looked at the tree early in uh, the class, that object, the tree, is a whole bunch of different things to a whole bunch of different people, right? Different people look at it in different ways. Some people see lumber. Some people see a habitat, right? Some people see 
uh, source of biodiversity, right? Like all these different ways to see a tree, source of beauty. So a strong thesis for a paper on happiness might be that happiness is more than just feeling good. True happiness incorporates ideas about meaning or a lot allows people to use their gifts to um, to change the world in a way that they think is significant. Or maybe you're going to say happiness is about adopting the right lens. There's all these different ways that we can view or choosing the right kinds of problems. All these ways we can view happiness, right? And your thesis statement is going to provide a way for us to understand that. So we already knew what the, uh, thesis statement is and how to generate one. And you should, if you were in class on Thursday, you should have a thesis statement with you now. Um, if you don't have a thesis statement, then hopefully that description and hopefully the resources online can help. you. Inside Out Drafting takes your thesis statement and it gives you a way to understand uh, what you have to address in your paper. It gives you a list of topics, right? And it gives you um, a framework to develop your supporting arguments. And then eventually you add your intro and your conclusion. But for right now, all we're looking at is framing the skeleton of your paper. So what do you need to address? You're creating a list, right? What do I need to address if I'm going to um, effectively analyze or effectively explain, excuse me, um, the thesis statement that I've laid. Right, and so I'm gonna skim over this because we should have already chosen the thesis statement, but again, you should care about this topic. And I know that I'm making you write about happiness, right? I, I understand that. I understand that there's not, I didn't give you a, a totally open, um, open book in terms of your choices. But think about the kinds of things that you're interested in compared to happiness. Like if you want to just talk about finance, finances and happiness, like what is it that money provides that allows you to achieve happiness? And then write about that thing. Or if you want to talk about pursuing your passions or if you want to if you thought Mark Manson's uh, notion of um, solving problems was important and you want to talk about that. Or if you want to talk about how people delude themselves into thinking they're happy when they're really not, right? So that's what we're doing. And we've already conducted all of the research. And so you have your um, your research. You want to you, you want to your research to generate a question, which we did on for, on Thursday. So we talked about generating a specific question, and then your thesis is the answer to that question, which you already know. Now. This is where we're at right now. So for this module, for this, for today, for Monday, what you should be doing is you should be looking at the thesis statement that you generated and identifying the ideas and points and uh, items that you need to uh, develop it. Right, so what topics do you need to address? And so, um, I'm going to pause here and let you kind of digest this. And I know we're not all the way through um, all the way through this module, but this is really where we're at. And we're going to come back. So I'm going to come back and build from this um, for tomorrow's work. OK, so we're going to pick up on this slide for tomorrow. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me. And uh, there's an additional video for today that shows me uh, doing the inside out drafting process. All right, I hope this was helpful and um, let me know if you have questions.